Okay, guys. I haven't vlogged all day because we've been busy, to be honest. We took in all the decorations, Christmas decorations, inside the house, cleaned, then had lunch, then waited for the furnace guy to come for his annual inspection of the furnace, changed the filters, all that jazz. He did find a problem with one of the parts. A capacitor? I don't remember what he called it. Anyway, he replaced it. It's under warranty. Um, then he just left a little while ago and we got all the outside Christmas decorations down. They're over here drying in the corner. Mr. Aarons is working on my desk. I found the piece of wood I was trying to find for him last night that he can use to replace some of the missing pieces of wood in the desk with this nice piece of hardwood. Anyway, I put it in a safe place because you know, that's smart. Anyway, <laughs> that's all that we're doing at the moment. We're gonna go in and I've got to change. I got mud all over my jacket and stuff. And I'll probably put sweats on or pajamas and we're gonna just cuddle up on the couch and watch some TV and have dinner. Sounds like a plan to me. Tomorrow's a work day, editing video, checking social media, um, posting some stuff to Patreon, making some announcements over there. If you wanna join, the link is down below. It's only like $2 a month. Anyway, um, also bug people are coming, electrical people are coming. Like it's a thing, it's tomorrow's gonna be busy. So we're gonna relax, relax while we can. You should do the same. I'll be back. guys so <laughs> uh, it's Monday morning waiting around pretty much all day for different um, workmen and things to come by to do some maintenance on the house and give estimates on other things we want to change up or repair you, you get the idea anyway it's also the day I need to edit the vlog and plan projects for the week which I think I have. I'm gonna work on actually art, going back to RC Trio. So working on RC Trio, and I'm working on another app, Scrap Afghan. Um, I also have a couple sewing projects over here in my stash of things. So we'll probably get back to one, at least one of those. And I have the new secretary desk downstairs that I want to keep working on. That is going to go in this corner and I'm hoping maybe to get rid of and or store in the secretary the majority of this. If we keep this bookcase, it'll just be because I need a stand for when I'm painting at the easel, but um, we'll see. I have a lot of paint. I haven't bought paint in like two years. I have a lot of paint. Um, also, this thing's been staring at me for over a year, I think, at this point, because part of my brain was like, it needs something else, it needs something. Why does it need something else? I like it the way it is. It needs to come off the easel so that it, I, it stops staring at me and like taunting me, and I need to put something else up there because that it, this happens because I think it should be something. It doesn't have to be. I like the way it is, and I'm okay with the way it is, and we're gonna go with that, so. Time for it to come off the easel. Let's get that done. Okay, you guys. A couple hours ago I went downstairs to the garage for something. I don't even know what now. <laughs> but I ended up working on my new desk, new to me desk, um, filling in some of the holes, um, gluing up some more of the loose veneer. It's going to take three or four times of, you know, doing that sort of thing and, and checking over, you know, every nook and cranny and making sure things are all glued down before we're done with that part of it. 
Um, and in between, of course, it's got to dry. So um, I went and did that. I'm sure, according to my husband, I didn't do a good enough job, but he'll go back and fix it, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, it is five o'clock now. I don't know where the time went because I don't think it was anywhere near that time when I went downstairs. In the meantime, the bug guy came by. He did his annual spraying and checking and stuff. And I'm back upstairs. <laughs> I don't know where the time went, but I, anyway, I think I got most of the big sections glued together wood cut and replaced. That was a chore. Um, using the tools that we have, we don't have carpentry tools. And I don't use power saws because I have a fear of cutting off a finger. It's been a forever thing. Anyway, I probably cut off my fingers in a past life. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, that's it for the minute. I haven't checked the mail in a couple of days, but I think I probably should. And uh, but I'll wait a little bit and uh, I'm gonna just sit here, have some water and watch some YouTube. I'll be back. Somebody's not sleeping. Anyway, it's Wednesday afternoon, January 9th. My little sister Elizabeth's birthday. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Trying to put Junior down for a nap in his playpen like I'm supposed to, which I haven't really done until now. Yeah, it's not working too well. He likes sleeping on Oma's lap. It's, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm working on the crochet blanket. Haven't got much else done today because I'm babysitting. So it's a day where I don't get too much else done. Um, and we're having kind of a spit up day, so I'll be doing the laundry as soon as he goes home. <laughs> oh boy. And it's raining cats and dogs outside. I don't know what that means exactly, but anyway, it's raining hard. On and off, at least. All right. Gonna go see if I can get this one to sleep. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, January 10th, I think. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for the resale shop to open. I want to pop in really quick and see if they have the other skein of striped yarn that I left the other day and didn't buy. Probably they don't, but I'm going to check anyway while I'm out running errands. I already stopped by Joanne's and I did get two skeins of new Red Heart Granny Square. Uh, going on a little mini road trip with the kids this weekend and um, it's probably going to be snowing and I get bored in the car and all the things. So I'm gonna do some granny squares um, while we're driving. We're celebrating my dad's birthday. That's why we're doing a little drive. Um, I've got a few other places to stop at, including Staples. I think I might stop at um, Michael's. Um, I have a idea for a project that I wanna try, which requires me getting a tool I don't have, so. I'm just gonna buy one because I'm not sure this is gonna go over well, but uh, you know, anyway, I'll keep y'all posted. We'll see. I did get two other skeins of yarn that I need colors um, to do another uh, blanket. I mean, you know, you guys know I've been doing blankets. It's kind of uh, anxiety therapy for me at the moment. Um, they're easy, I don't have to think, and all the things, so yeah. Anyway, she's putting the signs out. I really want to help her, but I don't work here. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the minute. I can't think of anything else. Of course, it's raining right now. We're supposed to get snow uh, sometime between now and Saturday. One report said 13 inches, one said three inches. I'm more inclined to think at the elevation we live at, that's probably more like three to four, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go in. I'll okay, be back. All done. <laughs> that was a lot more stops than I thought it was going to be for not a very big list. But anyway, um, I did stop by Dollar Tree because I needed a couple birthday cards and gift bags and I don't like to spend much. You know, our Dollar Tree is, you can tell it's short staffed. It's a hot mess, you guys. The shelves are in almost complete disarray. You can't find anything. They have 
gotten at least one shipment, probably more than that, and it's just in boxes in the aisleways. You can't get around the store. It's a disaster. It's a freaking disaster. And the other one that's not too far from our house is the same way. So it's got to be a staffing issue, I'm thinking. Anyway, we're going to go home now because I need lunch. And yeah, I'll be back. The latest scrap afghan is done. And of course, I've got another one lined up over there. Of course I do. But yeah. You know, I wasn't sure about putting that pink in there, and I could have gotten more pink to put in there, but I'm, I don't, didn't want really want to. I like the little bit of pink that's in there. I don't know what it is about it that I like, but anyway, that's my foot. Give me an idea. It's a good size lapkin, or a good like little maybe afghan for a twin size bed. Anyway, we will add it to the pile. Have a lot of family coming in over the next few days. And of course, I will be saying, hey, you want to take a blanket home? So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning, guys. We have some workmen here looking at some electrical issues with the cans in the great room. Again, I think we're going to try to change them out to LED because the bulbs keep going out. Anyway, um, I'm going to do some crocheting today, but it's also babysitting today, day to day. I did let the kids know that the electricians are here and it shouldn't be an issue, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I just realized I haven't vlogged today. I have been working on another blanket. Of course I have. Um, we are having family over for dinner tonight. Um, they're expected within the hour. I'm going to crochet until I can see that they're close. And then I'll start getting the hors d'oeuvres ready. And um, all of that all of that stuff. Yeah, tomorrow is my dad's birthday. But at the same time, where I live in Oregon, we are getting a massive snow and ice storm. So am I going to make it to the party? I have no idea. Mr. Bob was supposed to go to California. Tomorrow, I was going to go to the party with the kids. Was. He's canceled his flight because snow and ice. So, yeah. I guess we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Morning, guys. So, we're getting ready to head north to my dad's for his birthday. It's about 17 degrees outside here right now. And snowing. <laughs> Um, we only have about a half an inch right now. Uh, we're expected to get up to 13 inches by tomorrow. And that means tonight it's going to get pretty icy. So if we're going to do this, we should do, we're done. I'm glad we're doing it today and we're not leaving too late because the roads are going to suck later. So anyway, we're going to package up the car and go pick up the kids and get on our way. I'll be back. I don't know if I said, but we're supposed to get 13 inches by tomorrow. Holy moly. So it's almost 11 o'clock at night. We are home and we're watching TV. Um, if I can get some footage from the husband's dash cam, I will insert it here.
So yeah, the trip up wasn't great, but it wasn't anything like the trip home, which is what we were afraid of. Um, but it was my dad's 85th birthday. We did all go in one car to be a little, I would say safer, but probably make the chances of something happening a little bit less than having two cars. Anyway, um, yeah, it was a little hairy. I got a lot of crocheting done in the car because it was better than me looking out the front of the windshield because, mm -mm, nah, mm -mm. Anyway, my dad had a great 85th birthday, I think. He leaves tomorrow morning um, for Arizona for a car thing with my brother, and it was all good. We are having a second family dinner night tomorrow night with some a family that's still in town, so I got to run out to the grocery store in the morning and hope because of the snowstorm that's blown in that things aren't sold out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. I didn't know people were coming for dinner until tonight, late tonight. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's all good. It's been fun. Uh, it's been fun, but yeah, I'm going to go back to Phil and Ling some tutorials next week. I've got to catch up on that. I have lots of ideas and things I want to do for you guys, so I'm going to try to take care of that. Of course, I'm still crocheting. I find that it's a very good way for me to stay calm and de-stress. I'm, I can easily take it with me. That's the thing. Um, it's very easy to just grab a ball of yarn and a crochet hook and like hop in the car or whatever. Um, it's really, really therapeutic. In fact, I spent some time the other day, um, crocheting. I had no tablet on, no phone on, no headphones in, no nothing. And it was wonderful. The other thing we've discovered we really like doing is watching. There's a couple of channels. One is me TV has all the old TV shows on it right now. Downstairs, we've got lost in space on, I mean, you know, and I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, stay off of the news and all that stuff. It's just, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this week. Check out the video description for relevant links. I would sure love if you like, share, and subscribe. I do have a Patreon and the blanket pattern I use the most that I use all the time is on there for free for the patrons. Um, it's only a couple bucks a month. I do post at minimum one thing a month. Um, I do have a few announcements and posts I need to put over there for them. I need to catch up on that. That's something else that's on my list to do this week. Um, but I'm always in contact with them. There's a brand new live chat over on Patreon. We also have a Facebook Messenger chat. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, join my Patreon down below. I sure would appreciate the support. Um, I also have designs over at Art Foamies and Rubber Moon. And even if you don't buy my designs, although I would love if you do, because I think they're fabulous. They're both American um, companies, I believe. And they are definitely both sm small mom and pops. You know what? Go show them some love and support. Go buy their stuff. There's plenty of designers on both of their sites. Some really great stuff. Go show them some support. Um, I'm not being paid to say that. I get a commission on the designs. It's not really... Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I think that's it for the minute. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay creative. Um, do what you love. Find a hobby. If you don't have one, find one. Um, you have always wanted to learn to sew or crochet or knit or paint or draw. Go do it. Why, why are you waiting for? Go do it. Go do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right. That's it. I'm going to go back to Lost in Space. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I said that already, didn't I? Ha! It is late. Um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Next week, we should up, be up to a lot of more shenanigans. Lord knows what the weather's going to do, but that's for next week's vlog. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.